I thought we'd have a look at this new Star Trek thing that Wingrace has probably watched already. Uh, it's from that O-Toy um, place um, where they're doing like this Roddenberry archive. I don't really understand it, to be completely honest. Um, I don't know what it is they're doing, but um, they're doing all this cool AI, CG, makeup effects videos um, of Star Trek stuff. Uh, we've seen Kirk's body get um, recovered from Viridian 3 and stuff like that. And now they've done a new one called Unification. I have no idea what's going on with it. Uh, it's, it's unlisted, so I don't know why they've done that. And Josh Temple's here, harpoon at the ready to fire at any errant rockets that might uh, go in the wrong direction. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to have a look at this. I'm, I'm going to go through it, you know, like I can do with reviews and stuff. And we're just going to look at the images. I've no idea what half of the stuff is, to be completely honest. Um, I think Robert Meyer Burnett did a breakdown, but I don't know. Is he just guessing at what some of this stuff is? I don't know, but anyway, but anyway, I don't know. Um, I had to find the link in an article to find. Yes, because it's unlisted, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think I'd. It was in my history. I didn't watch it. Um, it popped up in my feed or whatever uh, yesterday or whenever it was, and um, I, I clicked on it. I thought I'll click on it and it'll be in my history then, um, and then I'll, I'll go back to it because I didn't get a chance to watch it. And uh, luckily, I did because it's unlisted now. Anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. It says it's all a continuation of the previous episodes. Like I say it's all a bit um, um, a bit arty farty for me, to be completely honest. But anyway, so right, let's have a look then. Um, we'll go to theatre mode. Like that. Add it to the stage. There it is. How many views has it had? It's only had nine and a half thousand views. Uh, likes, I mean, sorry. How many views has it had? Ninety nine thousand views. Oh, if only I could get that many views. But never mind. Right. So we begin. Uh, there we go with the quote from um, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. How we deal with death is at least as important as how we deal with life. That's what um, Admiral Kirk said. Admiral. And some have suggested what we're seeing here in this is part of Kirk that's remained in the Nexus. Um, which is from Star Trek Generations. Much like Guinan. Um and went into the Nexus in Star Trek Generation, and then she got ripped out by the Enterprise B, and part of her remained behind. And some are suggesting maybe part of Kirk is still in. That's what we've seen. Others have said, I think Robert Marbinet said, it's just um, like a, it's poetry, and it's like in the, in the vein of 2001. It's all you know supposed to be you know cerebral and all that stuff. But I don't know. Oh, and they've also been mentioned. The uh, wormhole prophets have also been mentioned as well. Um, so we begin, there we go, we see, um, I got to Robert Mabinet, this is actually a star that we're seeing, I think it is, it's the surface of the sun, isn't it, which I didn't realise at first, because I, I was watching it, and you can see all that, and I thought, I thought it's either the Nexus, and another interpretation of the Nexus, or is it the, because um, who this fella is, um, I thought, is it another view of the Great Barrier, but uh, apparently it's just a star, because where we see it's Gary Mitchell, Gary Lockwood as Gary Mitchell. Um, oh, hang on, there we go. Uh, with his silver eyes. Why? Da da. <laughs> but he's there. He's there. Oh, is it the Romulan supernova? Who knows? Who knows? But it wasn't the Romulan supernovas. It was the Hobus supernova. Do you think they forgot that? Or they just changed it? I don't know. But um, anyway, never mind. Um, can I do it with the uh, the five second thing? No, I won't do it. Never mind. Uh, and then we cut to Viridian 3. Uh, some bloke there on... Um, is this supposed to be Spock? Retrieving Kirk's body. Um, I don't know. It'll give us a chance to look. I think it's supposed to be Spock, isn't it? Because we saw this in, the, in one of the others, didn't we? Uh, at Vasquez Rocks. Um... And then we cut to, is this supposed to be San Francisco? I don't know. It looks a lot like we saw in um, that film. <laughs> Star Trek Into Darkness. Uh, it looks like that, where they did that chase, didn't they, with um, Khan and Spock and Kirk. No, not Kirk. Khan and Spock fighting. 
could be that, could be that, because they seem to be trying to put all sorts of different things in. Um, hang on, just let me get rid of my bookmarks. You don't want to see that, do you? There we go. Um, they, they seem to be trying to put all sorts of different from all aspects of Star Trek. Um, this is from a comic, apparently. I didn't know what it was, but to go to Robert Marbinet, this is from a comic. Um, and we're going to see. Um, there she is. It's um, the Yeoman Cobb. J.M. Cobb is the character name. I can't remember the actress name. She was in the cage. Obviously, the menagerie as well. She was in the cage. So, the young Yeoman. Um, there she is. Uh, why are we seeing her? Don't know, because I've not read the comic. So, I don't know what's going on. Um, it's got the, is it not the Well of Souls. It's called something like the Well of Something, it's called. But... Um, Apart from that, I have no idea what's going on. There we see the Enterprise D source section on Viridian 3. Vostoja Viridian. I've got to say that. <laughs> uh, which looks cool. Uh, and as we know, it gets recovered. Because uh, Geordi uh, cleans it all up a bit. And um, and sticks it on the, um, the uh, secondary hull of the USS um, Syracuse, doesn't it? In season three of Star Trek Picard, uh, what we're going to see next? Uh, on, I've missed it. Um, I'll have to just play it. Oh, who was that? Who was that? Let's go back. Let's go back. See, stuff appears so quickly. Right, we we'll see that. There's the Enterprise. All right, who's that? Oh, is it her? Is it supposed to be J.M. Cobb pointing at the the well of whatever it is? Uh, spot mind melding with you, the yeoman. Why? <laughs> See, it's so fast, isn't it? You've got to be quick to pause the bugger. Oh, for God's sake. YouTube, you need to sort out your bloody stuff. There we go. Uh, it looks like... I don't know. Is it just me? I don't know. But that looks like... Um, Got his bloody name and all. <laughs> um, the Kelvin Universe Spock. Um, oh, what's the name of the actor now? Uh, Zachary Quinto. That looks like Zachary Quinto to me. Uh, particularly with the uniform. Um, is it? Don't know. But yes, it's kind of look. Remember. Or whatever. Uh, some of these things are clips from other episodes. The Auto. Auto episode, you mean. Um, anyway. We'll keep going. Uh, oh, see. And then now she's looking at... This is what we see in Star Trek Picard Season 3. So, is that her again? It looks like it. But she's in a... Looks looks to be in um, a Kelvin Universe um, top. I think it is. Because it's, it, it's got the weird patterns on it. So... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, and this is obviously Kirk, isn't it? James T. Kirk. You can see it says, even though it's blurred, you can tell that's what it says. We see him in Star Trek Picard Season 3 at the um, Section 31 station. God, I wonder what was going on there. Uh, the Section 31 station. So, got his body. Uh, on ice, I imagine. Uh, but what's she doing there? Don't know. Oh, see, it goes so fast. And my reactions aren't fast enough, and it's just lots of numbers and stuff. There we go. That's, that's obviously Kirk. Uh, pardon me. Um, have they got him frozen like that? <laughs> or is that just a CG representation? Oh, dear. And then we cut to this. I have no idea what this is. I bet Windgrace knows. <laughs> Come on. Is he going to play? Are you playing? All oh, right. Uh, it's slowing down a bit now, isn't it? So we get a slow pan down. Uh, on the uh, there's a statue here. Who's this statue? I've no idea. Uh, is it? Is that uh, what they call it? a cornucopia, whatever they call it? Um, I don't know, but um, some classical <coughs> statue, isn't it? So it's not Zephram Cochran or anything like that, is it? So I don't know. Um, I don't know what this is rep rep representative of. I don't know, but uh, anyway. So then we see um, uh, this obviously Kirk. Uh, there he is in his. Um, 
what they call them now, these boots. I've got a pair and I forgot what they call them. <sighs> the man. In his uh, Starfleet boots. With his kecks tucked in. Uh, look a bit baggy them, don't they? But, uh... And I'm watching it, I'm thinking, is this CG? And I don't think it is, is it? I think that's actually film. If this is CG, there's bloody good CG, isn't it? But, uh... uh anyway, there he goes. Uh, liking the, uh... The roses, I hope he doesn't prick his finger. Because every rose has its thorn. Wingers says, I'm not sure, probably very important. He's lying, he knows. He knows does Wingers, because he knows everything. <laughs> um, right, so there's a, a fountain and a pond. And here he comes. Captain James T. Kirk from Renegades. Um, I said Renegades for them, from Generations. Uh, and we're going to meet some people that we know, statues. I'm, I'm sure these are relevant in some way, but don't ask me how. I have no idea how. I'm sure that's a statue of somebody. Who? Don't know. Alexander the Great? I don't know. It could be anybody, couldn't it? Could be Apollo, for all I know. You know, as reference to Umans for Adonis. I have no idea. But uh, here we go. People have gathered in their brightly coloured clothes. Um, it's a combo of de-aging, the real shot and the standings and CG practical stuff. Yeah, I know they got um, Sam Whitwell in, didn't they, to play the uh, original series Kirk that we're going to see in a bit. Um, which is cool. Right, so anyway. So here he comes. Here he comes. They're going to come in now. There he is. The hair's not quite right, is it? It's cool. It looks good. But the hair's not quite right. There's some shots where it seems to be a bit floaty, <laughs> does his hair. But uh, anyway, here he comes. Here he comes. There we go. Lots of people gathered. Does he know them? Are they all important people? I don't know. Some of them are. Not been the same important. I mean, people we know. But uh, anyway, so here we go. Lots of looks. By the way, there's no dialogue in this video. It's all uh, music and mood. <sighs> oh, I'm just having a look. Um, I think they're uh, I think they're doing prop load on the, on the rocket. By the way, I think they're uh, loading the propellant. They've been given the go ahead for it. Right. So he walks through the crowd. Um, mostly humans, it seems, but there's some aliens in this. Fella looks alien. Um, here he goes, walking through. Who have they? Don't know. <laughs> don't know who they are, but we know who she is, don't we? It's Savik, the Robin Curtis version of Savik. Um, obviously, the top build. Well, we'll get the actress. Is it me, or does she smile in this? Looks like she smiles to me in this, but Vulcans do smile occasionally. Uh, there she is, as Savic, the old Savic. Um, but uh, I think this is supposed to represent this. This video is supposed to represent it's, it's timeless because we see different versions of Kirk. So, but we see that the old Savic. But I don't think it really matters. They just could get the actress in, basically. I think, and um, you'd have thought they've had another one, wouldn't you? Uh, but, you know, done some CG. Maybe they didn't get permission or whatever from her estate of Kirsty Alley, but uh, anyway. You had a thought, so. But uh, anyway, so he has a nice look at uh, Savik. Uh, she has a little uh, little look at him. And then uh, he they, they has a look and I think, oh, the hell's this? <laughs> and at first I think, well, I think, well, it's not Spock, is it? It's not Savik. Uh, it turns out, I think it's Selik. Because it says at the end, there's a cast list at the end, it says Selik. Um, I thought, Tom? <laughs> Is it Tom Selleck? Uh, but no, it's. Um, I think it's supposed to be Spock and Savick's son, even though he never mentions his own son, does he? In other things we've seen. Not that he should, because he, I suppose he's never asked, but... Uh, uh, so is this Spock's son? Uh, who doesn't look young himself, but um, anyway, so there he is. Or is it? I don't know. That's what people are saying. It's probably Spock's son, Selek. Is Selek Spock's son? I don't know. Is he in any books? I don't know. But uh, anyway, so off he goes, carries on. Carries on his little walk. 
through the park. But there's lots of nice little looks he's giving. Um, it's very, very well done. Very, very shatnery. Um, so, right, off he goes, he carries on. But uh, kind of looks slightly pained there, doesn't she? As though she's a bit sad. But she's Vulcan, so that would not be logical. Um, right, so, where's he going next? Oh, wow, we see this fella who we saw in, um, hang on, uh, from Vulcan Heart, I think, where he and Savit got married. Oh, see, there you go. Is that a book? I don't know. I don't know. I've not read that many Star Trek novelizations. I've read, read some of them, but 99.9% um, .9 of them I haven't read. Anyway, uh, when I was first watching it, I was thinking, oh, that bloody hell's this fella. He looked familiar, but I couldn't place him. Um, thanks to Robert Marbinet, he pointed him out. He's, he's from um, uh, Star Trek Discovery. <sighs> Probably why I didn't think. He's called, is it Yor or something like that? He's the Starfleet officer who could travel between different timelines and stuff like that. So he's obviously from season one or two, or before he had a TNG. And um, there, there he is. So they've even got some discovery in there, haven't they? Um, anyway, he gives he gives something that's not that doesn't look particularly good, does he? But uh, never mind. Um, who's that fella there at the side? Who's that supposed to be? He's in you know dress uniform, twenty uh, fourth century, I think, Starfleet dress uniform, uh, like we saw in Nemesis, you know, at the wedding. Um, so I don't know who that's supposed to be. Wesley Crusher, an old Wesley Crusher. And me. But anyway. But anywho. Uh, he gives him something, but we don't see what it is just yet. Um, and I thought it was going to be like a com badge. You know, a 24th century com badge, I thought, but it, it's not. Um, so anyway. So then everything changes. Look, it turns it like the Netflix logo forms behind him. ba -dum. I know it didn't do it, it's wrong colour and everything. There is a Crusher in the cast list. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Just says Crusher, doesn't it? So I bet it is. I bet it's supposed to be Wesley. Old Wesley. Can he get old now? Now he's become a traveller. But um, it could be. It could be. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so here he is in uh, some sort of corridor now. Um, and uh, a bright light. I don't know. It's all beyond my limited comprehension. My ape's brain. Uh, and there you go. See, it looks at his reflection in the floor. Let's go back again. Because he sees his reflection. And there you go. And it's um, it's Sam Whitwer looking up at him. Um, who kind of looked like Sam Whitwer. Then he kind of morphed into uh, Kirk, didn't he? Uh, if I go back a little bit. Uh, if it'll let me. Uh I think it's. I think it starts as Sam Whitwer, then he morphs into Kirk. Um, looks like it to me. But anyway, make sure we're not getting copyright strikes. By the way, uh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, by the way, we're live on YouTube and Rumble. I hope uh, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I just got on with it, didn't I? And we're live on Twitch as well. He says, hopefully. <laughs> um, are you going to come on? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, so, cool. Um, oh, right. and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And um, join in the live chat and all that malarkey. Um, what else? Uh, explore the description for links and all that stuff. And uh, super chats, super thanks. Become a member. Become a member. Hang on. Where are we? Where, where, what are we doing? Hang on. Where, are, where is it? Become a member. Pressing the wrong button. Um, so, we've got, we've got, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, for Pete. There, so i uh, mention the members. Right. Oh, hang on, I've done something wrong now. Where are we? There we go. <sighs> Uh, and all that stuff. Right, so where were we? There he is. He sees a reflection of himself. So now, we, now we're with uh, the original series, Kirk. Uh, it looks really, really good. I think this is the best looking of the Kirks. Um, in terms of, you know, looking like Kirk. Uh, even his physique. Some we, we must have a 
William Shatner in his 30s physique. Um, anyway, there we go. That looks like Sam Witt was side profile there, doesn't it? Then we see Admiral Kirk from uh, Wrath of Khan. Admiral. And uh, so they all look at each other uh, for a bit. There we go. They just look at each other. Uh, the three of them together kind of look like action figures there, don't they? <laughs> they just get them from, um, oh, was it, was it XO6 or whatever that company is that does them? There were that other company as well, that famous one. Did it go bust? Um, um, oh, I that, that famous company that did uh, super lifelike figures. I forgot what they call it. Anyway, never mind. And there the others disappear, so he carries on. Um, because this is the, the latest version of Kirk before he passed away. Died under a bridge, not on the bridge. Yes, Sideshow, that's what I'm thinking of, yes. Did they go bust? Have they, have they gone out of business? I don't know. Um, have a look. So it's not, lo not launching while, we're not, while I'm not looking. No, the loading propellant. Uh, and this boat is going to meet uh, an old friend. Oh, I put that thing that he'd given him that... Um, you I forgot his name now. Yaw had given him uh, what is his, his badge. It's not a com badge, is it? But it's his insignia. Uh, he just sticks it on. Right. So, anyway, it goes into the light. And then it uh, ends up uh, in this room. It looks, it looks very orange. So, I'm guessing it's supposed to be Vulcan, maybe. I don't know. Um, so... Obviously, he recognises the uh, the person on the bed, and obviously, things in the room to uh, give us clues as to who it is. It's obviously Spock in it. There's his Vulcan. Is it called a lyre or a harp? I don't know. And that's his. I don't. That's that shaky thing that we saw on um, with the bells on. Ching ching ching. Da, 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 that um, a mock time. We saw it on there, didn't we? Uh, it can't be Vulcan. This is the Kelvin timeline where it's dead. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Not dead, it's gone, hasn't it? It's disappeared up its own arsehole. Anyway, uh, and there on the um, the table, there's his Vulcan Idic thing. Um, which we saw him wear in the original series, didn't we? I can't remember which episode. Um, I think it was the um, the one with the Medusan. What is that one? Or a different one. Can't remember. Anyway, uh, I've just bloody watched them all, haven't I? Um, and this, this is what he gives. Is this in Star Trek Beyond? What he gives to Zachary Quinto, Scott, um, Scott, Spock, um, that's got the the um, promotional photo from Star Trek Five, I think. Um, is it? Is it that what he gives him in? I, I don't know. And a glass of water. Is that an important glass of water? Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, Anyway, so it's obviously easy. Is Spock? Is he dying? I don't know. What's Spock doing there? Just lying there for some weird reason. And they're, they're kind of recreating the thing from Star Trek, the motion picture, you know, where he's, um, Jim. <laughs> um, oh, uh, this simple feeling, you know, it's beyond Vija because he's been to, he's just gone through Vija's brain, hasn't he, and come back. Um, so, kind of a recreation of that, and uh, it kind of looks. Kirk's smiling at him, and he raises an eyebrow, and um, uh, there we go. And then they look out at the sunset, or sunrise, or whatever it is, at the sun. Uh, is it our sun, or is it Vulcan's sun? I can't remember what Vulcan's sun is. Um, Epsilon Eridani, I've forgotten. can't remember. Uh, I'm going to look it up now, because I've... Uh, Um, not that one, not that Vulcan. Oh, I'm going to have to put Star Trek in, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, 40 Eridani. How oh, close? 40 Eridani. That's what it is. Um, maybe. Don't know. But, uh, and then uh, there's a, there's a, he lets go of his hands. Is Spock dying here? I don't know. Um, is this as a this must be because uh, Spock dies, doesn't it? In um, unless it's a hologram of Vulcan, well, it could be. Um, <clears throat> but I think this is Spock's death that we don't see because he dies off screen, doesn't it? In Star Trek Beyond, um, 
because uh, is it on the Yorktown station where Spock learns of older Spock's death, doesn't he? And um, I think it's in Star Trek Beyond. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and um, we didn't see it, did we? Because um, I think it passed away by this time in real life, hadn't he? I think had uh, Leonard Nimoy. And um, so I think this is what we're seeing here. And obviously, Kirk's there. In my, in my interpretation, Kirk's there to to go you know, take him to the other side or whatever to Shakeli <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be the death of Spock from beyond because they showed his empty picture frame. Like he sent young Spock. There we go. There we go. Did we see that? I'd see, I've missed that one. Haven't I? I didn't notice that. Let's go back and see the empty picture frame. I'm not going to find it, am I? Is it not this on the table? Is that is that not that thing here? Is it? No, that, 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 is that, I thought that's what he sent to Spock with the picture in. I don't know. But anyway, whatever. But yeah, that's what I think we're looking at. And uh, there we go. And uh, off the go. And then I don't understand these numbers. Do they have some meaning? They've all got different numbers, aren't they? 7658. No, no, no. Don't know. I'm sure it means something. There you go. For Leonard Nimoy. And Robert Mabinet said, I was bawling. And even as from Heels vs. Baby, Heel vs. Babyface said he was crying. Uh, I'm getting a bit teary eyed at this. Why? It's not that emotional, for Christ's sake. Well, I didn't think it was. Maybe I'm just a hard hearted bugger. <laughs> um, these numbers are called Trek Culture, are Starfleet Service numbers. Are they? Oh, right. Are they sure? Say now, what does Trek Culture know about Star Trek? <laughs> I'm kidding. <coughs> um, oh, they got Lauren. Oh, for Pete's sake. William Shatner. They've got Lauren Selick. But um, I'm sure there's a someday in the cast called Selick. Oh, it's bloody carrying on in the man. Uh, Gary Lockwood. And, oh, sorry, Purdue. Music by Michael Giacchino did the. Kelvin um, uh, scores, uh, but there is a cast list. I'm trying to, trying to get to it. Uh, there we go. Cast, cast. There we go. Here it is. Pause, pause. Um, oh no, it's Sorak, not Selick. <laughs> Sorak. So is it Sorak that's? Um, I probably saw Selick and got mixed up. So I'm an idiot. Uh, so it's Sorak, Spock and Savik's son. Uh, oh, my Spock was Lawrence Selleck. All oh, right, that's what I'm getting all mixed up with. Um, but uh, yeah, cool, cool. Crusher, Do John Daltorio. So is he old Wesley Crusher? Anyway, Wingate says, I didn't cry, but I didn't tear up a tiny bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't find it emotional because I didn't know what was going on. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, and there's lots of credits and stuff like that. So yeah, it's very good. It's very, uh, very lovely. Um, but you know, to be honest, I don't see the point. <laughs> I don't honestly don't see the. They say it's for this archive and stuff, but I don't see. I don't get it. Maybe I just. Maybe I'm too stupid to understand. Uh, I did. Oh, I did tear up a bit. Come to Google, a Sorak is a small six-legged creature the size of a green Martian woman's hand. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Google. So there we go. So that's unification. Um, I said, go to me or Wind Grace's community section. We've got a link for the video if you want to watch it. Because it's unlisted now for some reason. <laughs> 